Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but. Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh. But T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow, Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride.
first stop. Ripper Dock and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Me once fixed on dust in your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. <laughs> Sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? The last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out, right now. I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside.
Mark I, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look? Feel all right to you? Uh, V? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug-free. Gonna keep me waiting all day? Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from.
Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull line. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this. Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. And avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Uh, Mr. Some v. sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. 
Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slotting the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Hey, you with me, Mano?
You're weirding me out, V. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. But I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. right now. Thank you.
Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem, BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Auteur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. What's well, on the menu? Looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me? Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex?
You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, 
He wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The Relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. What? It can be a very useful tool. It's hard to say. Good for we... analyzing okay. details, human perception, yeah, yeah, yeah. even all boosted. Right, right, Doesn't right. grasp mm -hmm. exactly what you mm -hmm. need. All right. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD, Ev. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mates? Huh. 
Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. And we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and three. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. On you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring, muddy. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey. Uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was... too much. Felt... I could feel the guy's... pain, his stress, his... hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cap. Get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. 
Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Bring it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't... Look at creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Heads up, in analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller is cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh, <laughs> hello nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Down, everybody! On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Never saw it coming. But you will. 
Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. 